So Dows, uh, a disappointing 1-0 defeat at Stockport, although beforehand I suppose it is one of the more difficult games of the season, but I've just come from the, you know, saw you in the change room, very dispirited. These, the, these games turn on just little things really, don't they? I thought we were excellent, for 60 minutes really good. Um, when you scored it was their first corner of the game, the first corner gave us in the second half, it was their first corner, and uh, that tells you something, but we should have Obviously, finished a few chances in the first half. I missed them. I thought at half time I was delighted how we're doing. Second half, everybody's quiet. We've got everybody quiet down. It's, it's, it's a quite an open game. Then somehow we managed to give a corner away, which we shouldn't have done. And you know, centre half's lost the head on. Obviously, should have um, kicked it on the lane as well. So to lose it like that's heartbreaking, really, for the lads. Like, the effort was excellent. Um, I think the hardest bit was when I went down to 10 men. Um, because when I went down to 10 men, we we needed another pass in there. We never quite, you know, with Jimmy and being injured, and um, I know Ince is injured and all. He's had a whack and all that, you know. And we'll try to get rules on to play a bit, and um, and you know, actually, you know, it's just gear management a little bit, you know, where you know it gave a great side and got a great manager and the good, you know, the great people here. But the bottom line is, I just disappointed how we lost it and how because if I'd have lost it by a 25 yarder, I lost whatever. But we lost by a corner with a header, and we should have stayed it on the lane. Something like that. So that's a disappointing thing. The effort was fantastic, um, you know, really, really had a go, um, and if we do that, we'll be fine in the next couple of weeks. We've got to show the same effort um, on Tuesday and, and on 4th, so I'm just disappointed about the, the conceding of a goal. So, as you say, the first half was tight, but yep. we certainly held our own, and, and Idney had a great, great shot that was well saved. And, uh, Aye. Aye. and you got that, and you got um, Ince and all, who obviously got in the area where he's just got to keep out of beating, hit it against the side netting, um, but, you know, um, we got to take them, yeah, and he had a shot, and he had another one where he could have went on one on one with somebody. We've just got to make sure he, um, you know, he, he let it finish him, um, which he has done at times this season. But it's just, you know, he, the Achilles heel has been the ball in the box, the Achilles heel of our season has been corners and free kicks and how we defend them. And we're doing fine till that one goes in, like you see, it's done like Musa to lose a man, he has done. Could have stayed on the line, and you just think but before that it was, it was three were in the corner who had two or three chances to clear it, and never and that's how we conceded the corner. You take this, but you know, I feel fun because, like I say, the effort's been fantastic, some of the players been really, really good. So, I feel for the players to be honest. And um, once the sending off happened, uh, it, it's also happened earlier in the season, we didn't seem to have that little bit extra to make the, make the most of the extra man, did we? That's why I wasn't too happy myself when he got sent off you know usually you get somebody sent off I was thinking because everybody up to the whole stadium up there players up there game they sat behind the ball and counter tackle which you've got every right to do even though they left two up top um, which is uh, brave but we just needed somebody to break that through we needed some magic by somebody to do that and that, that's the things we'll probably struggle on you know where you know we put the subs on to do that and which we're going to do anyway um, but you just find somebody up there or somebody who can produce that magic you know and uh, you know somebody's not a great ball in but they're setting a half heads out and I'm thinking you know he's been doing it all game why can we not get there first just little things like that but happen against you it's happened here where we do go down to 10 men we, we need somebody who's got a little bit of extra to pull somebody out of nothing you know so looking at positives and looking ahead Jack Roll's got a good half uh, Max, Tyreek, can you? Oh, maybe, yeah, it should be ready for next Saturday. Yeah. And uh, that's when games like this, you'll miss Max because he has got something in him to do that and all that, you know. And uh, Dave should be back, um, King, for next week as well. And um, so uh, that'll make us stronger and all that, you know. So we'll kick up on there. But we, we do need Max in the team because one thing we do need is a goal scorer who, um, you know, can score in games like this. He is a, a big game player and he, he loves the big games, Max. And I'm, I'm sure uh, we've missed him today. Okay, thank you for your time. No problem. Thank you.